Okay, the temperature right now is 26.4 and what we are going to do is we are going to change uh, the set point or actually set the set point to 26 degrees which would be our accepted limit uh, for this particular test. So what is expected is that as soon as we set the temperature set point to 26 degrees and save it, the alarm is supposed to go off. At this point, the user should be able to acknowledge the alarm and shut off, uh, shut it off. And if, and at this point, we are also going to set the time delay for the alarm to come on again to two minutes. And if the temperature remains above two minutes, I mean above limit, which is 26 degrees Celsius, for more than two minutes, the alarm will come on and the user will not be able to acknowledge the same. Okay? All right. Uh, Ramu, why don't you just go ahead and do that? This set point 3 is the height set point limit. Currently, the set point is 27.4. Okay? He's going to reduce it to 26. Okay, and he's going to save it. And there we go. Because the temperature is 26.4 and the set point is 26 degrees, the alarms come on. Now, what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is... I, I am going to put a stopwatch here okay and we're going to time this from the time I acknowledge it should come back on within two minutes and not allow me to switch it back on again okay so there you go I'm going to acknowledge this and I am going to switch this thing on okay So, since we did it a couple of seconds after we acknowledged, so I think the buzzer should go off a couple of seconds before this clock hits the two minute mark. And at this point, it's important to notice this particular light here, where my finger is, that is, I'm going to zoom in closer. Okay. It actually says hi. Okay. And I think here we're getting close to about the two minute mark. We should have this alarm go off here anytime soon. There you go. And now I'm going to try to switch this off or acknowledge the alarm and it doesn't go off. Okay, I'm pressing it multiple times. Okay. When it goes up, it comes down to... And the only way this alarm can be switched off 
is if the temperature comes back under 26, 26 or under.